Hello friends! If you're watching this right now, you're watching the replay, so say hello and hashtag replay. And if you're new, tell me it's your first time watching. It's always fun to share this with a friend, so you can always send them, send this to them. Hey everybody, as you're popping on, I am, I've got a little fun technique to show you this this evening, I am um, getting set up on my laptop over here. We are going to play with an envelope, sticky notes, my favorite watercolors. Ooh, doesn't that look like art heaven right there? Ooh, and a water brush. That's heaven as well. Gotta have one of these. And then this is a pit pen, Faber Castell, letter F. Um, it's Indian ink, so it's waterproof. And that's important when we're gonna be doing some um, watercoloring. Hi, Tammy, welcome. Thanks for watching. All right, so hopefully some more people start popping on. I'm gonna make this brief and brilliant today. Uh, I want get, to get y'all on your way, and so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, showed you the supplies. I use one of these, uh, this is a dish towel that I got from Walmart or somewhere, and um, I don't know why it was stuck together. There's no telling what I used. But anyway, I cut it apart, and I sewed it into just little coaster size because it's perfect for this, okay? So I use it. This has water in it, and when I'm cleaning my brush, I just squeeze it on here and just kind of wipe it off like that. See, my brush is dirty. But it's so great because you can throw this in the washing machine and you're good to go. Oh, thank you for sharing, Tammy. I really appreciate that. That means the world to me. Okay, so here we go. What are we going to do with this? What do we need sticky notes for? Um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So this is a water brush. If you've never used one, it is so fabulous. It, let's see. So this one is Crafty Croc. I got it out of my watercolor set. Where is it when you need to show it? Uh, anyway, so you unscrew it backwards and then you put water in here and I always have my little cheat water so I can, um, Fill it up while I'm at my seat and I don't have to go uh, get up. Cause you know, we don't want anything to get oh, it, whoop, in the way of our artistic vision, right? This is just like a container, like a salad dressing container or something like that. You can get it in the food section at a grocery store. I'm sure you can get it at Walmart. You can probably get it everywhere. Hi Kim, hello, hello. Thanks for jumping on guys, this is fun. I'm gonna make this brief and brilliant like Jennifer Allwood says. Okay, so I have the water brush pen, which is fabulous. I've got um, my pit pen. I told you it's uh, waterproof. I'm just repeating this for some of the new people that just came on. I love, love my Koi watercolor. This is a pocket filled sketch box, so you could take it. It's easy for traveling and it's got great vibrant colors. And this one, this one has like neons and stuff. Not sure what this one's called, but I do have it listed in my Amazon store if anybody's interested. And um, it's got some pearls in there. I don't know if you can see the pearl essence and the Mm, neons. Beautiful. And then just regular sticky notes. I've, I've cut them in half. This is just like a regular package I cut in half. And then this is just a, a craft envelope. And I love craft. I just think it looks good for everything. And if you're, it's so forgiving. Because if you're using a white envelope and you mess up, it's just like, ugh. So, it's like, what do you do now? So, we're going to start with using our sticky notes. We just need one. We're going to put it where our address would go. And, you know, I, I learned in school to put our address at the bottom, but now it's trendier to do it kind of in the middle. And then on the back, you can put your information. Or this may be just a birthday card that you hand to someone. All right, so here we go. So we're going to use this to act as a mask. So our, when we draw, it'll leave that spot open. Does that make sense? I'm going to straighten this up because it looks a little crooked and I don't want my drawing to not be beautiful. You know what I mean? Ha! 
How are y'all doing tonight? Is it a wonderful evening? Anybody have storms? I'm in Texas. It's hot. We, uh, I don't know what the temperature is today, but it's been pretty hot. Okay. Y'all are quiet out there. Say hi. I want to know who's here. All right, so I'm going to take this, and then I'm just going to doodle around it. Okay, so last night, if you were watching, um, I had, I've had two free classes this week, and this is the third one, and we did doodles last night with different florals and stuff, and we, uh, we did a vine, so let's pretend like this is, uh, like, like the vine was that we did, and we're going to, no storms in Kentucky, good, and we're just going to start drawing, I hope you can see, because this pen doesn't allow me to lean my hand over, like a lot of pens do, and I'm just drawing around the sticky note, okay, hope you can see. Hello from New Zealand. Hi, Barb. How are you? Hi, Shirley. Thanks for saying hi. Hi, Rhonda. Good to see you guys here. Thanks for sharing. That means so much. And I'm just going to do some leaves around here. Just all different kind of random stuff. Let's do some berries. Yeah, if you were with me last night, some of this looks familiar. But we're taking it. We're actually putting it into practice, whereas I showed you last night just kind of how to play with it. Now we're actually doing something with it. Do more flowers around here. Y'all see okay? Hi from the East Coast of Canada. Hey, Sheila. And Joe from Alabama. Y'all are representing. Hey, Tiffany from Wyoming. How fun. Okay, so let's do some more. Just fun doodads. Anybody, anybody playing along with me? Or was anybody on here yesterday? And you've been using your skills that we learned? I'm literally just playing. Last night I was talking about how I could just do this all day and not get anything else done, but it makes me, it's so satisfying, it makes me feel good. <laughs> you just finished up storms, heading into spring. Yay, I'm ready for spring. Can I just say, I really, really am ready. Wait, spring? <laughs> it's gonna be fall for us. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so weird. I just, I didn't read that right at first. I was like, oh yeah, spring, wait a minute. That is so crazy. So it, so in New Zealand right now, your, your, your seasons are different. That's cool. Okay. Cause y'all, aren't we going into fall? <laughs> I think so. Uh, I haven't been to New Zealand, but man, I would love that. Love it. Okay, so what else can I do? So once I start diddling, sometimes I'm like, what else can I draw? Do you ever just get stuck? My membership group tonight, we did doodle banners. And so um, we did this and then we took what we did last night. And so it's kind of like this idea, but last night as in on Create with Christy. Okay, so um, let's draw some leaves here and some more flowers. I don't know why I think I have to sing when I'm doing this. And it's like, the look at these flowers. These are just circly doodads. They don't look like much, but once you put all this together, it starts to look like something. Okay? And maybe some eucalyptus looking stuff. Is that what this is? Because I really don't know the names of stuff. If you popped on, just say hello. Tell us you're here. Oh. What do y'all actually mail envelopes for? Does anybody really mail cards? Let's see how we're doing. See how we're leaving that open? I love it. 
Does anybody mail cards? And if you do, what's it for? Are you good about sending out birthday cards? My grandma is 86 and that woman still sends thank you cards just if I ask her over for dinner, for a birthday gift, whatever. She is so good about that. And I don't, I can't say that I got that from her. I really can't, I wish I could. I am super thankful that she's in my life and that she's a good example to all. Sweet, precious lady. I don't even remember how you draw ivy. I'm, I'm scared to try because it might look like a marijuana leaf. And I don't mean to draw that. <laughs> I can't think of how to draw ivy right now. Uh, anyway, just keep going. Okay, yes, birthdays and thinking of you cards. I love that. Yes, yeah, Shirley, you do? Good, good, good. Oh, I bet you have trouble. That is crazy with the time zone thingy. So what time is it there right now? Oh, she's 96 and still mails cards. And so when they mail cards, don't you think that it means the world to them to get cards? So I'm like, I need to do better to send cards to my grandma. I really, really do want to do that. Because, you know, she's not online. She doesn't do all this online stuff. So um, she misses out on a lot of things that I post and talk about and all that. So, all right, let's see how it's looking. Look how fun. I see it, it looks a little lost over here. So I'm going to put it back and do something over here. happen there but <laughs> again once it's all together people don't pick it apart and realize they're like oh that's a pretty piece they don't go oh that's an awkward looking leaf <laughs> hi Jean welcome welcome Barb mails birthday cards to kids grandkids brothers sisters in-laws nieces nephews great nephews oh my gosh can you add me to your list my birthday's very soon <laughs> that's awesome I'm so happy you do that hey Trina Thanks for watching. Oh, I see one more spot that bugs me. So I'm gonna put it back on. Add a couple of something here and there that kind of looks like something. <laughs> and there we have it. And that's it, y'all. That's my tip for tonight. And then, um, let's see. Uh, oh, I was gonna do a little bit of watercoloring with you. I forgot that. So in here, we could put their address. <gasps> I need to write one to my grandma while I'm thinking about it. So um, let's see, Let, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and watercolor it while I have it covered up. So like I was talking about earlier, these are my favorite watercolors and pull them right here for you. This carrying case is cool because it's got this palette. It's got, I, I paint all over. This is actually the cleanest one I have. I have other ones that are not so clean. And then it kind of hooks over here if you need to use that space. And I've got my water in here and I'm ready to go. So all you do is you get, I'll squeeze some water on here. Squeeze pretty good, see that drop of water? And then I'll squeeze some in here. And sometimes I'll just take my water bottle and put some in here. I know I'm gonna use green and I'm sure I'm gonna use some of these neons. I'm not even sure if I've used these on the craft paper before but you know doing stuff on craft makes everything look just a little bit different hi Jenna thank you thank you it's so fun it's such an easy project like you can do this in no time and it's really fun to do it on packaging like if you were to I think I got a little bit too much water so you just dot it to blot it off um I have done it on mailing envelopes before if you were with me last year you saw that I did a lot of that oh my gosh it is so fun to paint on a milling envelope or to watercolor on it even. So I like how it's showing up. I think it's pretty. Especially these vibrant colors help. It helps to put those on. But again, this is nothing. Look, anybody can do this. I'm just scribbling. I'm just doing swirls. It's not hard at all. 
but the big picture is pretty. And when I did packaging, you know, people um, thought, well, what if it rains? What if it, you know, washes off? You know what? You spray it with a sealant. You just spray it. Isn't this, this is y'all, right now we're having a therapy session. You didn't even know. Yep, I'm having my therapy session <laughs> while we're talking. I could do this all day long. And look how I'm not even in the lines. So what? So what? It's freedom. You don't have to be in the lines. Okay, let's get some green going in just a second. So my grandma's name is Rosie. Miss Rosie. And like I said, she's so cute. I wish I had a picture to show you. I'll post a picture. I just did the <laughs> most fun thing with her. Um, she has the most color. I've never seen a closet as colorful as hers. I mean, like, y'all. I've ne I, There's hardly any black in there. And some of you, you might look in your closet and be like, everything is black in my closet. <laughs> um, not mine, but uh, I know a lot of people's. That is. And so, I said, Grandma, I've got to video your closet. I just want to remember her and that hot closet and she said okay so I came over and we just got silly and I said grandma I've got to color coordinate your closet this is just too fun so we put it in order from rainbow she's got yellow orange green I mean she had them all it was so fun and then I did a video of her in her closet and she oh she put on that sass and she <laughs> it was so cute I've got to post it I've been meaning to um it's the cutest thing ever. So now y'all will know if I post that, why I did and who she is. Because once you see her, you do not forget that woman. She is precious. She's got, she's just spunky and she loves, loves fashion. Loves to dress up. Can put anything together, whether it's from Goodwill or, or whatever. She always wears a headband and she's just too cute. So, I got to put, I got to make this for her. Hi, Jean. Did I say hi, Jean? I don't know. I think I did, but hello again if I didn't. Okay, so now let's get some green on here. How's it looking? Y'all, I'm telling you, look at it. It's scribbles. It's just scribbles. <gasps> look at that. You can just, if you ever have like extra drops, you just kind of dab it up with your paper towel or this fancy doodad. All right, now let's get some green on here. I'm going to get a lot of this orange off, but you know, I'm not one of those sticklers. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't have to have one water that's white. I mean, clear and one water that's got your reds and one water that's got blues. Eh, who has time for that? <laughs> I'm a messy painter, messy artist, and I am proud of it. Can you tell? <laughs> so I'm really excited that I'm doing these classes this week. Um, I'd like to do it through Labor Day weekend, so if you're around, just look uh, look me up and see if I'm on live or if I've done a live. If you haven't, if you didn't watch yesterday, go back. Oh, girl, you would love my grandma. Oh, Barb, you're so sweet. I if I if I'm like my grandma, I think that is the biggest compliment ever from anyone. She's really positive. Um, she she's had a hard, kind of a hard life. And so she, that's the way she learned how to survive was to be, um, just, she found, she found that book, the power is power of positive thinking. And it changed her life. And from then on, she thought the only way to get through my struggles is to do that. And she just had to cling on to that. And she's and her faith because she loves the Lord and, uh, knew that that was the only way she was going to survive her circumstances. So Yep. And I know that's the same for me. This is getting dry. I'm going to put this in here. Oh, girl. We could have fun, messy painting together. So, y'all, I've ordered some alcohol inks. And I'm dying to use them. I've seen the coolest. I've actually did a class. I feel like I'm talking 90 to nothing. Sorry. Let me slow down. <laughs> I just did a class with them. I mean, took a class. Because it's great for me to take classes because it inspires me to do new things. I told myself I'm not going to buy every alcohol ink there is. <laughs> I'm not going to tell y'all what I bought. You'll be judging. I haven't gotten them in yet, so that doesn't count, right? Look how I feel so good right now. 
feels so um, like I've accomplished. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Y'all just, uh, if, if someone popped on here, they'd think that I was a brilliant artist. But y'all saw me scribble. Just scribbling. Anybody can do this. Anyway, so my, those of you that are here in my membership group, we might be seeing some alcohol ink projects in the near future. Just saying. In case you might want to know what's coming your way. I also have so many other things I want to do. I really want to paint the cover of a Bible. Um, I, I mean, I have, but I want to do it with my my membership group because it's so fun and it'd be great gifts for Christmas and some of you might be like, what in the world is she talking about? I'll have to show y'all. I don't have one handy. And I might die getting out of this chair because you won't believe what's around me. <laughs> I need to organize my craft room. Does anybody want to come over and help me with that? Because that's not my gift. My gift is to sit here and color. Okay, so what makes me really happy is is this um, the neons on this paper. So ha happy. Thank you. Okay, so ready? Let's reveal the amazing envelope, hopefully going to Rosie. How easy was that? So easy. Okay, who's going to try this? Anybody going to give it a try? Okay, guys, that's it. It was a really short lesson today. Um, and that's what I love because I want you to pop on. I want you to feel like you got something out of it and it wasn't a waste of time and it wasn't watching for an hour. So my goal is to start doing shorter lives. Let me know if you like that. Let me know what you think. Thank you, Trina. Let me know um, if you have suggestions on what we could do different. And if you're going to try this. So you guys, oh, yay, Barb. I'd love to see it. So you guys, thank you so much. Um, for participating. Thanks, Paula. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.